Hello everybody, this is Mario Central, and we are reporting to you live from the barren wastelands of Lightfoot Village. Not really wastelands, kind of like a... Yeah, it's kind of like a swampish type of area that gets quite confusing, and trust me, I have taken the necessary precautions to redo the stage in practice, because this place can be confusing for the first time. It's not really, but if you're people like me who like to overthink things, when you're doing a game for the first time, this could take you several hours. <laughs> it took me a while, I must tell you that right now. But what you want to do basically is try to find any digging spots with Tricky and dig these things up. Go Tricky, go! Sorry for that random cut there, that was just weird. But uh, what happened there? Phone rang, gotta answer it, my bad. <laughs> no one in this house likes to answer, but it's okay. <laughs> But, you're going you're gonna to want to look for any of those uh, digging spots because you're going to need to get those three type of blocks. And where to put them is actually where they tied you up. Yeah, I know. It could be... I mean, that's why I took the time to look at them. I didn't really see what, what it was. But, basically, that's what you need to do. And if you were trying to look for them, yeah, it's right where you were being tied up. I know. that, that The first time I did this, I was looking around a long time before I found that. And... I felt so stupid afterwards, trust me. Because again, overthinking is not always the best thing to do with video games. You just Sometimes you should just think like, oh, if this is this, okay, let me just go do this then. And just go straight to it, don't even think about it. So that is the best thing to do, because honestly, it just oh, can lead your mind astray sometimes. Let me just travel over here while swimming, yay! <laughs> Tricky. Doing the dog dog. Much In much ways, he's like a dog. I mean, you play ball with him. I mean, dogs don't change colors, but I guess he's sort of like man's best friend. Who knows? Who knows? Oops, okay, we need to flame that up. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Forgot how low my grub tub total was. Ow! Stupid pricky thorns. That's right, you burn for hurting me used to. Ah, oh, and the uh, fires hurts me now. Damn you, Tricky. They hit the. What are you. Oh, I guess I was hitting some wall, which I didn't know of right there. My bad. Right. Oop. <laughs> I nearly missed getting it, but... Oh, look, I'm feeding him right beside the block. It, tricky, get your butt out of the way. Good lord, man, taking up the whole screen. <laughs> you just have to be right there for the camera angle to zoom in. Good job. Oh, well. I wonder if you can kill these enemies, i never known that. I tried shooting them with fire, which obviously probably isn't the greatest thing, because we all know that fire doesn't work against water, but... I mean, sometimes it does. <laughs> but, um, you know, I don't know if you can kill those guys. I mean, I've tried shooting them with fire, I've tried shooting them with the ice, and nothing really works. And, uh-oh, it's getting to dark night time. I don't like it. Oh, where's the ladder? Oh, God. Sometimes I can barely find this thing. It's a good thing the camera zooms out. Zooms out like that, or else I would never find it. I'd just be constantly going around in a circle like an idiot, being like, Where's the ladder? Where's the ladder? Where's the ladder? I can't find the ladder. Where's the ladder? Yeah, that, that would have been terrible. Ah, so, uh, I really I really should get a, probably a better DV or something, because it just, oh, you cannot see anything when it gets dark. Whenever you're in dark time areas. That's one thing I like to talk about this game. I mean, the dark darkness doesn't really do much in this game. It actually doesn't do anything at all. I mean, you don't have there aren't any, there aren't any specific missions you have to do at the nighttime. There isn't anything specific you have to do at the nighttime. It's just there for scenic effect, and it's nice. It's a nice touch, you know. I mean, this, uh, most of the time you have games that shift into nighttime. You always have to do something within that time, or it means something. This is just it's kind of like a regular day, you know. You have. You have, you know, your day and night, which is cool, you know, I appreciate that they put that into the game, because it really, you know, it makes the area look pretty nice, and you can hear the solemn effects in the background, like the cricket chirping, and the, it really sounds like nighttime, it sounds like the real thing, that's what's really cool about this game. What I'm doing now is I'm just making sure I remember the locations of these totem poles, because you're going to need to know them. There's one, as I showed in there, there's one over there, there's one with a few blocks which you've just activated, there's one in the forest, and I'll show you where the forest is in a second. And there's one kind of hidden. That one, you probably won't find that easily, but I'll show you what it is. You should know where it, where they are before you go anywhere, because these blocks lead to where you have to go. See, you have to activate all four of them, so that's one of the missions you're going to have to do when you're here. And I see you, Fuel Cell. I see you in the background. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm not going to forget you this time. 
All right, here we go. This is actually a really funny cutscene. Just watch this. We know you didn't take our treasure, so just go away. Yeah. So. Just by saying yeah, the Lightfoot Chip Village Chief was able to know that he's looking for Pizzo spirits. How genius is the fox? Like he's just able to communicate with random gibberish. Ha! Huh, that means Krizoa spirits. Anytime I say ha huh, no, people should know that, that that's Krizoa spirits. So if I say I'm looking for Krizoa spirits, I'm just gonna say I'm looking for ha. stupid question. Exactly. Of course we wanna see that. For once the partner actually points out the most obvious of points. I love that. Usually it's the partner that always says the obvious points. Well, uh, they're laughing at you, Fox. You gotta do it. Exactly. You can't be laughed at. But before you decide, take a look at this. And then he shows you what you have to do. So then you have two tra challenges. Again, activate tw four totem poles within two minutes thirty, and the test of strength, which is just you're literally pushing a guy into the pit. Easy. The easier of the two is the test of strength. So I'm gonna do this one first. Before time runs out. Go, 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 Fox, and they show you where the first one is, which is a nice hint as to what you have to do. But I'm going to climb this ladder instead of jump over there because it wastes more time. Uh, I guess it doesn't because I'm an idiot and can't climb ladders. <laughs> but this is all being do done for the <laughs> for the collecting of the ha, so yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know why the, uh, that was just so random. Like, honestly, like, he's just like, huh? Oh, you're looking for the Crusoe spirits? Okay. <laughs> so, it's so weird. Alright. The forest one, which I said, actually the one where you, you have to get to blocks is right here. It's kind of next to the forest one, which is where you want to go next. Um, probably the order you should be doing it, in which I possibly should have done this one first, is you should do the one nearest to the, the one that they point out to you. Then do the forest one, which is right here, and... Then do that one, and then do the hidden one. Now, I have so much time here that I'm actually gonna collect rub tubs. Yeah, I know, right? They actually give you a lot of time, and if you want to beat your personal score, go right ahead. They, they don't really give you anything for it. It's not like Zelda, where it's like, oh, if you beat this, then you get a heart piece, or you get an arrow, a bunch of arrows, or something like that. No, it's not like that. It's just literally, if you want to beat your time, you can, and you don't, you don't have to do it. So, you know, I'm just gonna take my time and get the fuel cell there, and here we go. Now the last one, now, is this one is a bit, I mean, it's not as obvious, it's kind of hidden in the background, but eh, it's still not, if you did your exploring before you actually did this, then you'll know where it is. But if you didn't, then good luck finding it within this time limit. <laughs> it's not, I mean, they do give you a lot of time, I mean, look at that, I'm at 40 seconds right now, but eh, I still have plenty of time to find this thing. But you gotta count for the fact that Fox takes a long time to climb up things. So see, I climbed that at 36, and that wasted almost 10 seconds. <laughs> so you gotta count that. If you're at 10 seconds, you ain't gonna make it. Even if you're there. I like this music. That's right. All the Lightfoot have weird voices. Except for this guy that you'll see in a second. <laughs> Love their just like surprise expression. I know they're bad guys, Tricky, good lord. Stop laughing at me. I'm competing your challenges, what do you think I am, stupid? Oh god, I... What the... How, did, how does Fox win against this guy? Because obviously you have to win against him, right? So how did, I mean, jeez. So... Huge, but this is so easy. All you just have to do is press A as fast as you can. Oh my god, oh yes, good stuff. <laughs> you see, that guy has a non squeaky voice. He's just like, you have beaten our strongest light. That's right. <laughs> Fox is like, oh yeah. Well done, Fox. <laughs> I guess that's his favorite word. Well done, Fox. Kind of sounds like this. Kind of sounds. Good job. So, kind of sounds like the shopkeeper, with his many like, <laughs> with those many squeaking voices. It's probably where the shopkeeper comes from. You never know. But they don't look not. He doesn't look anything like the Lightfoot. I don't even know what he is. 
It's probably just some random guy that just shows up and steals people's stuff. Damn that guy. Alright, this... I'm just gonna get some more scarabs here. Yay! 95. So this, now, what you have to do is stick a step on the switch, and you have to time the totem pole in, in the right way, as you can see there. You're gonna need to do all four of them, and all these, oh, five, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, yes, I can count, but, <laughs> you just have to activate them all in the same manner, so obviously you can't miss there, and they get faster as you complete more of them, so right, come in there. What? That isn't right? Oh, probably that one. Yeah, oh, my bad. Patterns are different, I guess. I like how it lights up once you've done it right. It's cool, I like it. Just, it's a nice effect. It's just from dark and then to light. Ooh, what do you know? Don't! Oh! Okay, one more. Oh, no. I, was, I totally missed it last time. There we go. And you could also tell if you don't know, like, if you can't tell where the pattern is. It's a pattern of a snake. If you can't tell the pattern, then just look at the hands. I mean, it shows you if it's straight or not, right? And as the guy said, you're this okay, this Crizoa spirit coming up is possibly the I wouldn't say hardest, but it's probably one of the hardest. And the reason is you could easily lose yourself in what's going on in this Crizoa spirit challenge. Not necessarily is it hard to get to it, but to actually do the challenge, like you know how it always gives you the test of something? Well, this time to get to it is no problem. But to do the actual test is quite hard, and there's a reason for it. And it's I like how I like the idea that they put into it. It was kind of smart. It's like I'll get to it. We'll, uh, talk about more of it when we actually there, because it's I like the challenge, but it's like damn, you could actually really do this a couple of times because you're not paying attention. It happens. Nope, the wrong way. No, I don't want to turn there. There you go. So all of it, all this is is you're activating a bunch of switches and you try to get there as fast as you can, along with these guys who are just so goddamn annoying. God, oh my God, get out of here! Stupid. I mean, the the annoying part with them is, I mean, they you almost have to take a hit before you kill them. You have to get lucky if you don't want to take a hit. Right now, this part you wanna you wanna go as it's falling. You don't wanna wait for it and then go, cause the gate does close rather fast. So you have to go while it's while the water is draining. See, so you might take a hit here and there, but it's nothing too major. I mean, you have a lot of health right now. Oop. Yes. All right, and the simple barrel challenge. Oop. Oh, look, there's no music. I'm surprised. Oh, okay. Now here's the challenge I was talking about, and I gotta maintain my focus for this one. Get it, talk to me. You know what? I actually never took a chance to look at this room. Let me let me look it through. Oh, and that's very just whoa, that's that's pretty cool looking, I'm not gonna lie. Never look took a chance. Oh look at this random pool there. That's pretty cool. Alright, let me talk to him. Dude, talk to him. there you go. Test three, the test of fear. You must stand and face your deepest fears. Keep the guideline within the green area. If you succeed, I will become yours to return to the Grizoa Palace. Okay, I am just gonna be completely focused. This is this is my advice to you. You want to just keep your focus. Keep within the green bar. Keep it in the middle! And don't yeah, don't get nervous like that. What happens sometimes is it jerks back and forth and it, it suddenly it will jerk to the one direction. So you have to pay attention. Don't lose concentration. Don't even look at what's going on right now. It can really draw your attention away. Okay, oh god. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Don't look at the screen. Look at the green bar, Chris. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Keep it in the middle. In the middle end of time. Okay. That was a pretty rapid movement there. Okay. This is where it gets hard. When this music starts to happen, again, don't pay attention to what's going on in the background. Even I'm not paying attention. And I bet you it looks really cool right now, but I can't pay attention at all. This is where it gets hard, because suddenly it uh, jerks! Oh, okay, I saved myself there, that was close. Okay, okay, in the middle. Keep in the middle, and you'll be fine. And there it is, almost done! Yes! Oh my god, I thought I would have lost it at that end there, because it just it suddenly went to the left, and I was like, oh god! Oof, that was really close. Darn. My god, that was actually really close. I thought I for sure would have lost it at the end there. Like, my goodness. No, because, I mean, seriously, it just looked like, like, oh my god, I was gonna lose it right right then and there, but... Nope, just hanged on. <clears throat> I kinda saw what was going on for the background, and that's something you don't want to do, because... 
they kind of make you want to look at it because it looks cool and all. I mean, you're running away from all this stuff. Uh, I guess Fox's fears, right? And you're just trying to dodge everything, and it looks so cool, but you don't want to look at it because then you take your focus on the green bar for one second, and boom, you're already done. And it, it sucks because it's like you don't want to, but at the same time, it's like, oh, that 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 really blows. <laughs> Now, there are a couple things you can do within this village uh, bef before you go, but I'm going to do it after because I will be coming back here anyways. So it doesn't make sense to do it now because I will be coming back here. And because I'm going to be having, having to go to Cape Claw for something before we head on to the next area. And I want to make sure that, you know, I'm able to do it then because, I mean, I might as well do it then. Technically, if I do it now, I will spoil something, so I don't want to be doing it then. And as you can tell, we just warped right back. <laughs> Instantly to the dinosaur place. Yeah, I just yeah, I don't have to show my travels every time. I mean, we've seen it a bunch of times. <clears throat> but now, obviously, what you want to do. And the next couple of Crusoe Spirits, I must say, are pretty darn quick. Like, they, this one is no problem. we already seen where we have to go for this one, and that is the third level of the Krizoa Shrine. We just have to go there and distribute it, and we use our Sharp Claw disguise, because we saw it already. Remember, we were over there, and I took note of it. This time, I remembered. Exactly. Are you ready to go to Krizoa Palace? Yes. <laughs> the funny thing is, if you, can hear, if you can hear squeaking in the background, that's just because I'm on, like, this spinny chair. So it often makes that noise when I'm going back and forth. I know it just. I, I when I play video games, I can't sit still. <laughs> it's 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 weird with me. Like say say like if I'm uh, if I'm doing something intense, like I'm just literally just looking at the screen, and you know like stuff like that SSX, right? I would literally be moving left and right as it's moving left and right. I would jump if they jump, it, like if it's really exciting, and that's what I do sometimes. It's just crazy what I do. <laughs> Look at them. They're just staring at me. Uh, 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 now he's scratching his back. He's so much like a human. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I have weird reactions with games. It just happens that way. Because <laughs> it's just like, oh, I'm so, I'm so in the moment that it's like as if I'm in the games. It's like I'm going left and right and do. I can't sit still. I just That's how it is with me. It's weird. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but I do that a lot. Like, oh, oh okay. This thing's... Those things are really annoying in Brawl. I don't know if you played Subspace Episode, but those things are really annoying. And here we distribute our spirit! Oh, I, hope, I wanted to stay at Sharp Claw to do that, that would've been cool. But I guess you can't. And we've returned our third Crusoe spirit, not bad at all. This game's going along nicely now. I know. This is what I mean, this game starts to pick up pace now. Like, it's not as long as you would have thought it would be, compared to, like, the first couple of dungeons that you did, because it just seemed to take so long. But that's just because it's the first time doing it, you know, there's a lot of cutscenes here and there, and there's more of that. So, it really starts to pick up the pace after you're done the Ocean Force Point Temple. After you're done distributing, uh, getting that Spellstone. Yeah, after you're done putting it back to the Spellstone, then it pretty much picks up from there. You're gonna be doing things quite fast. <clears throat> and now, if you didn't notice this, I don't blame you. You see the the mother over there. She's kind of bellowing. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm staring at your at nothing but whatever. <laughs> Did you see that fox was just looking above her? That was weird. All right, so this is actually quite hard. I'm not gonna lie. Like the first sp stages of this is not that bad. You have these random dragon-like types of enemies. Kind of look like dragons, I don't know. But they're trying to steal the eggs, so you just have to prevent it and be oh, <clears throat> as quick as you can. Now, when it gets down to the pressure, when it's like 10 seconds remaining, it actually gets quite hard. You have to be very quick, because, man oh man, I must tell you, it does get quite hard. <laughs> okay. Die! Uh, and, huh! And, no, get away from it! Ugh. Oh. This is what I mean, they start piling up like crazy. This is actually quite hard when it gets down to like the end, the last 20 seconds. Oh man, they start suddenly like you see two or three of them stealing your eggs and you're like, oh crap, I have to get all three of them. It's, it's quite, it gets quite intense. Okay, 
Oh my god, three of them. Ah, stop this. Oh my god, too much. No, hit him. And sometimes they don't hit him. It's, ah. Die. Ah, don't take my eggs. Or her eggs. <laughs> Foxes can't have eggs. What do they? But, yep. Take this. And this. Aha. Stopped you before you can even get one. That sucks for you. <laughs> even sucks more for those guys who are like, Oh, I got an egg. No. <laughs> hit. Ah. Okay. Oh my god, it's coming down to the last 20. This is where it gets intense. Okay. Here go. No, no, come back. Oh my god, I see you over there. Don't think I don't see you. That's right. I got you. Too late for you. Huh. I care if I'm ruining it for you. I must protect these eggs. As you can see, this leads to where we, we have to go next. Remember how our staff is lighting up the last time? Yeah. Oh my, you know what? I'm just gonna let it go because there's zero seconds and I'm done. Yay! <laughs> Jeez. I wonder what it looks like when you actually lose. I haven't lost on that challenge before. <laughs> Fox is for the first time being so modest. He's like, oh no, you don't have to. It's there. And you just repeat what you said. I see. This time he's actually looking at her face. The last time he's just looking at the ceiling. It's like he was uninterested. Which Fox is usually for the most part whenever it comes to solving people's problems. Unless he's getting paid, he doesn't really care about people people's problems. <laughs> Alright. Oh and the Okay. This is our next power up. It is Yeah, literally remember those weird doors we saw at the ocean the Cape Claw and the Ocean Force Point Temple? Yeah, that's what you're able to do. You just open doors. You got the power to open special doors. That is amazing. So we can now open portals, and that is the basis of the power. It actually uses quite a bit of magic, so We'll be getting something that will help with that in just a second. Because, as I said, we will be returning to Clay Claw. Yep, up we go!